Today on Sci Guys, Eddie Kearns and Induction. Welcome to Sci Guys, I'm Ryan. And I'm Adam. On today's episode, we're going to be exploring Eddie Kearns and Induction. Adam has a beard now. He looks rugged. It's true. I do have a beard. Eddy currents are circular electric currents generated in a conductor by a changing magnetic field. The equipment you're going to need for this episode includes a strong magnet and a piece of metal the same size and weight as your magnet, and a copper tube. You can pick this up at the plumbing section of your local hardware store. Although we're not dealing with anything particularly hazardous today, it's always important to remember to keep your magnets far away from electronic devices or else you could corrupt your data or damage the hardware. The first step in our experiment is to test the drop rates of our magnet and our piece of metal. Hold them at the same height and release them simultaneously and you'll notice that they'll hit the counter at the exact same time. Next, take your non-magnetized piece of metal and drop it down the tube to see how long it takes. Then take your magnet and drop it down the tube and see how long it takes. Let's look at those two clips side by side and compare the drop rates. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. A magnet, like the one we use in this experiment, is created by permanently aligning all of its atoms in the same direction. When all the atoms are aligned, a magnetic field is generated, giving the magnet two poles, a north and a south. As we explained in a previous episode, magnetic fields can also be generated by passing an electrical current through a conductive metal. Alternatively, an electric current can be induced in a conductor by a changing magnetic field. If you hold two magnets with opposite poles facing each other, the magnets will attract one another. On the other hand, if you put a pair of magnets near each other with two of the same poles facing each other, the magnets will repel one another. When the magnet is dropped down the conductive copper tube, we are exposing the walls of the tube to a changing magnetic field, which is generated by the falling magnet. This changing magnetic field of our magnet generates an electrical current known as an eddy current in the walls of our tube. The electrical current in our tube generated by the falling magnet creates a magnetic field inside the copper tube which opposes the magnetic field of the falling magnet. Since the eddy currents produce an opposing magnetic field, they act like brakes and try to move the magnet in the opposite direction of its motion, slowing its fall. This interaction is like when you bring two magnets together with opposite poles facing each other. The opposing force and slowing effect created by the eddy currents within our conductive tube are a result of Lenz's law. Lenz's law states that an electric current generated by a source such as a changing magnetic field will always create a counterforce opposing the force that originally created it. Many variables can change the speed at which the magnet falls, including the magnet's mass, its strength, and the dimension of the tube. Well, that's it for Eddy Currents and Induction. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this episode, let us know in the comments below and subscribe for future episodes. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode, or about science in general, let us know in the comments below or message us on Facebook and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye! Thanks Colin for lending us the materials! Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos.